video delves into the lives and fortunes of the top 10 wealthiest women in the world. From industrialists to heiresses of global conglomerates, these women are not only amassing staggering wealth but also reshaping the narrative of prosperity. Welcome to Opulence Luxury, where we discuss the luxurious life of the rich. By the way, check out our video on the top 10 wealthiest people in the world to know who they are. Also subscribe to the channel to get more opulent deeds. The world's wealthiest women represent a fascinating intersection of wealth, power and influence. Their stories range from inheriting vast fortunes to building their own empires through innovation and entrepreneurship. In this video, we will explore the lives and accomplishments of some of the most affluent women on the planet, shedding light on their diverse paths to success and the impacts they have on industries, philanthropy and society at large. These women not only challenge traditional gender norms but also serve as inspirational figures for future generations of aspiring female leaders and entrepreneurs. Number 10. Iris Van Banner with a net worth of $22.7 billion, Iris Von Banner is not just the 10th wealthiest woman in the world, but also the wealthiest person in Chile. Often shrouded in secrecy, this Chilean business magnate has captivated the world with her enigmatic aura and staggering riches. Iris Von Banner, the epitome of grace and sophistication, has earned her place among the global elite through a combination of intelligence, perseverance and a dash of Chilean flair. The source of Von Bonner's wealth is a tapestry woven from various threads, each contributing to the opulent canvas of her fortune. At the heart of it all lies her late husband, Andronica Luxig Aboroja, a pioneering entrepreneur who established the Luxig Group, a conglomerate spanning the industries from mining to banking. Von Bonner's husband may have handed her the keys to the mining kingdom, but she didn't just sit back and let the riches flow in. No, she rolled up her sleeves and turned the mining industry into her personal treasure trove. With the heart as tough as the metal she mined, Iris faced economic downturns, labor disputes and fluctuating metal prices with unwavering resolve. She diversified her portfolio, expanded into industries like banking and beverages, proving that she could conquer more than just the Earth's resources. The Luxig Group, under Iris von Bonner's stewardship, has grown into an economic juggernaut, dominating the global mining sector. With vast reserves of copper, the group's companies, such as Antofagasta PLC, have played a pivotal role in shaping the world economy. In the world of wealth, Iris von Bonner is the queen of Chilean copper. And her story is a testament to the fact that when life gives you minerals, you turn them into riches. But it's not just about the money. Iris Von Bonner's philanthropic endeavors have made a lasting impact on education, healthcare, and social development, fostering a legacy that extends far beyond her material wealth. Number 9. Suzanne Claden Sitting at number 9 is the richest woman in Germany with a net worth of $23.3 billion. Suzanne Cladden, the queen of calculated investments and the heiress of a vast automotive empire, didn't just inherit a fortune, she multiplied it with a keen business acumen that makes Midas look like a penny pincher. With her last name synonymous with luxury and horsepower, Suzanne Cladden's wealth isn't just hereditary, it's a high-octane cocktail of inheritances and astute decision-making. As the daughter of Herbert and Joanna Quant, major stakeholders in BMW and other industrial giants, Clatton had her head start in the race to riches. But she didn't just coast on the autobahn of her family's success. Instead, she floored the accelerator. Suzanne's financial portfolio is like a well-curated garage of lucrative investments. She diversified her assets beyond the automotive realm, investing in pharmaceuticals, chemicals and renewable energy. Her stake in Altana, a specialty chemical company, is a testament to her knack for picking winners. And if that's not impressive enough, Suzanne's foray into renewable energy through Nordex and SGL Carbon demonstrates she's got a green thumb for innovation and a deep pocket to match. But perhaps what sets Suzanne Clatton apart from the crowd is her low-profile approach to wealth. 
While others might flaunt their riches on social media, the 61-year-old prefers to stay out of the spotlight. She's a financial ninja, quietly stirring a fortune towards new horizons. Suzanne Clathen is involved in various philanthropic endeavors. She established the Scala Initiative, which provides funding and support to social entrepreneurs and non-profit organizations in Germany. She has used her wealth to promote education and research, being a significant donor to the Technical University of Munich. Her contributions have supported research and innovation in various fields, including engineering and technology. Clathen has been involved in various charitable efforts to address social and health issues as well. So there you have it, Suzanne Clatton, the billionaire heiress showing the world that when you inherit wealth, you can either ride the coattails of your family's success or blaze your own trail to financial supremacy. Suzanne chose the latter and her portfolio is the roadmap to her undeniable financial wizardry. Number 8. Gina Reinhardt Coming through at number 8 is the billionaire mining magnate and richest person in Australia, Gina Reinhardt with a net worth of $26.4 billion. Gina Reinhardt, the Iron Lady of Australia, didn't just amass wealth, she practically mined it from the heart of the earth. With a tenacity that rivals the toughest minerals, she transformed her inheritance into a fortune. Starting with a modest iron ore project, Ankok Prospectin, handed down by her late father Lang Ankok, Gina didn't just ride a mining boom, she bulldozed her way through it. She expanded her holdings, buying up mines like a kid collecting trading cards, and turned them into gold mines. As the demand for iron ore skyrocketed, so did her fortune. Gina's secret recipe for wealth makes equal parts grit, determination, and an unrelenting belief in the potential of Australia's vast mineral resources. Stir in a dash of strategic acquisitions, and voila, you have a billionaire who can buy an entire fleet of mining trucks with her pocket change. But don't let the hard hat fool you, Gina is not just about digging in the dirt. She's a shrewd businesswoman who understands that wealth isn't just about what's in the ground, but also about knowing how to extract it efficiently and profitably. The 69-year-old mining magnate diversified her interests into cattle production and is currently Australia's second-largest cattle producer. Her foray into the cattle industry made her one of the largest landowners in Australia and a key player in the global beef market. Gina's transition from mining to cattle production showcases her entrepreneurial spirit and vision. Her impact on the Australian cattle industry and the global beef market highlights her ability to diversify and succeed in diverse sectors. Gina Reinhardt has been known for her philanthropic contributions, including donations to support medical, sporting, educational, health and community organizations. In July, she donated $16 million to boost healthcare for rural Australians. And according to the West Australian, the billionaire philanthropist has donated over $60 million to Australian Olympians over the past decade. Truly, Gina's fortune is as solid as the iron she mines, making her one of the wealthiest women on the planet. Number 7. Rafaela Aponte Diamant the seventh wealthiest woman in the world with a net worth of $29.4 billion is Rafaela Aponte Diamond, co-owner of Mediterranean shipping company MSC, the world's largest shipping line. In the sun-drenched seaside town of Sorrento, where the scent of lemon groves mingles with the salty breeze of the Mediterranean, a young and ambitious Rafaela found herself gazing out at the endless horizon. Little did she know that her dreams would soon set sail, transforming the world of shipping forever. Rafaela, with a twinkle in her eye and a left for adventure that rivaled the widest sea tales, decided to take matters into her own hands. Armed with a vision as vast as the ocean itself, she co-founded the MSC with her husband, John Luigi Aponte, in 1970. With a shared passion for the sea and a keen sense of adventure, they set sail on uncharted waters driven by a desire to revolutionize global shipping. 
At the heart of MSC's success was Rafaela's unwavering belief in excellence and innovation. Her charisma and wit could charm the saltiest of sailors, and she knew how to navigate the complexities of global trade like a true captain of industry. The 78-year-old shipping mogul led the company to explore new routes, embracing cutting-edge technology and expand their fleet to include some of the world's largest and most impressive vessels. And as the company grew, so did Rafaela's net worth. MSC made several strategic acquisitions, including the purchase of other shipping companies and their assets. Owning holiday cruise line MSC Cruises, which contributed to its growth. The company also invested in port terminals and logistics services, further enhancing its end-to-end -end shipping capabilities. Today, the Mediterranean shipping company under the watchful eye of Rafaela Aponte Diamond remains a global powerhouse in shipping with a presence in over 155 countries. So, as you watch those massive MSC vessels glide majestically into port, remember that it all began with a dreamer named Rafaela, whose determination and wit charted a course for success that continues to inspire sailors and entrepreneurs around the world. Number 6. Miriam Adelson Call her the queen of fortunes or doctor of dollars, the trained physician Miriam Adelson is placed at number 6 with a net worth of $34.5 billion. Miriam's journey to immense wealth is a tale of entrepreneurial prowess and strategic investments that even the most daring gamblers on the Las Vegas Strip would envy. She entered the limelight through her marriage to casino magnate Sheldon Adelson. But her rise to riches wasn't a mere roll of the dice. Her source of wealth traces back to her husband's founding of the Las Vegas Sands Corporation, a behemoth in the gaming and hospitality world. The Adelsons took a gamble on the Bajoranian casino scene and it's paid off in spades. Their empire expanded globally with opulent resorts like the Venetian and the Palazzo in Las Vegas, which were sold to Apollo Global and Visit Properties in 2022. However, Macau's cortege trip and the Marina Bay Sands in Singapore are still owned by Las Vegas Sands Corporation. But Miriam's wealth isn't just about chiefs and dice. The 77-year-old who has a background in medicine and expertise in addiction research wisely diversified her interests, much like a skilled gambler spreading their bets across different tables. Her investments in the pharmaceutical industry, including the development of drug addiction treatment centers, proved to be a lucrative gamble. It's almost poetic how she tackled the very issues that often plague the patrons of her late husband's casinos. In addition to her medical ventures, Miriam's philanthropic work, particularly in the realm of education and medical research, showcased her commitment to making a difference. She became a high-stakes philanthropist using her wealth to fund various causes close to her heart. Miriam Adamson's story isn't just about amassing wealth, it's a testament to the power of diversification, strategic partnerships and a bit of luck, much like a well-played hand at the blackjack table. Her success reminds us that in the game of life, the real jackpot is often a combination of intelligence, timing and a dash of philanthropic generosity. Number 5. To know the women who occupy the top 5 sports on this list, check out episode 2 of the top 10 wealthiest women in the world. See you in the next video.